Hey, hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is What's Wrong Iron, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to a brand new Ben 10 Customs video. On the last episode, we built uh, this awesome character, which was, of course, Blocks. I'm still very, very, very happy with the design overall. And today, we've got another challenge placed upon us from one of you lovely folks in the comments section of a previous Customs video. So... Let's go on ahead and give a shout out to Hollow Souls. I th hope I said that it's yeah, I think that's the spelling for Hollow. So or maybe it's Halo, but I, I think that's Hollow Souls. Hey Blitz, it'd be nice if you could make either Jet Ray, Wild Vine, or a Wild Mutt. So since Jet Ray is the first one in that list, that's the character that we're gonna go on ahead and put together today. Now, <laughs> as soon as I brought up the design for Jet Ray, I was like, oh, okay. I sort of wish we would have taken on the challenge of like the uh, one of the other ones because wild vine looks a lot easier to make and same thing with wild mutt for that matter um oh by the way also i just realized i think we're done with this entire row of characters yep so that's pretty awesome those are all new characters except for ben 10 here um and then over here we're gonna get to work on our next batch so by the way we only have six other aliens to go so keep your suggestions coming use the comment section down below to let me know what should be the next alien that we work on let me know by hitting the comment section. And of course, also, if you don't want to actually type up a comment, just maybe scroll through it and you could help out by simply thumbs upping one of the comments that you agree with. Like if there's one that you're like, oh, okay, that would be a cool design. Like let's say if someone, maybe even Hollow Souls comments down below on this video and says, hey, it'd be really cool if you now created Wild Vine. So if you see that comment and you're like, oh, I think that would be cool too. Thumbs up that comment because then it helps me out in terms of deciding what we build next. So regardless, back onto the um, task at hand. Also, while you're down there, hit that like button. Uh, the design for Jet Ray is insanely, insanely complicated. So uh, this one's not going to be the easiest for sure. Let's start with certain things that are kind of easy to figure out about the character. So flight, for example, is pretty obvious. Um, I think I will give him actually hyper jump as well because I think that'd be kind of cool. Um, now... I feel like this character also creates, like, sonic blasts, it looks like, sort of. Like, it seems like it'd be the sort of character that would have that type of effect. Why does this not even activate? There we go. That was weird. So which one of these could look like a sound blast, almost? There we go. That one actually works perfect. And we'll make them... Let's go with red, since the character is red. Mostly red. Okay, so that should work pretty well. Um, as far as skills are concerned, that's one thing that I would have a tough time with because, again, I'm not really sure the exact same or the, the exact power sets. Like, for example, a lot of you guys helped me out with um, Gray Matter. Apparently, he should have acrobatic abilities and wall climbing, so I went ahead and activated that for that character because I guess it makes sense for him to have those abilities based on the fact that you guys helped me out. So if you know the specific abilities that we should include for Jet Ray, let me know down in the comments section below. Okay, so... Step number one, we will give this character claws because it looks like he's got these giant fingers that almost look claw-like. So I feel like it'd be appropriate to go on ahead and include those here. In fact, I think this would work really, really well. We're going to go with a bright red design for this one, which will look really cool, hopefully, once we're done. So that's pretty cool. I like the monster animation pose, so I think that that's fine. Uh, let's change the heart to green because we've been adjusting that for all of our alien characters so far uh speed i think is just normal and like i said animation wise we're keeping the monster design going okay cool so now we get to the interesting stuff which is the design itself um okay so the first thing that's going to be really tough about this character is that we need to figure out how the heck do we give him both a tail and wings because this character has both and there's no way for me to do that oh man Okay, let's let's start thinking what we can do here. So, is this still glitched? Is this still not... Yeah, it still doesn't do a color swap on the wings for whatever reason. Hmm. I really don't know why it does that. But neither one of the wing sets seems to want to color swap. So, that's a little strange. I'm not sure what causes that. Ah, <sighs> okay. So, the issue we're going to run into here is that, for example, there's going to be no way for me to create a tail for this character in any other way other than just actually going on ahead and using one of the tails that's in here. So we could use this one, for example. Make it red. And for the wings, I feel like we can kind of get around the wing thing by giving him a cape so that the cape could kind of act like wings. So I think that could work. 
Um, I wonder which tail we should go with. I feel like this one's a little bit, like, over the top. I wish I would have looked up a picture of him. Okay, let's see. Let's let's take a look again. Ben 10, Jet Ray. Because I, I went ahead and saved a picture, like, from the front where you could see the character model very easily. But from the side, I can't tell how lengthy the tail is. Like, I can't tell if it's just... If this design would work better with something like this, where it would just be, let's say, red and red. So it would be sort of this, which would look all right. Actually, I wonder what would a cape even look like with this attached? So we're going to pick a cape that's hopefully going to sort of emulate the look of wings. What's up with these capes? Like, for example, the Bizarro cape. What's on there? Is there something? Oh. Okay, so we wouldn't be able to use that tail regardless because... Yeah, because it disappears after we use that. Now, will it let us use this tail and a cape? Oh, that's a problem. You can't have both. So if we have the tail, we can't have a cape. Because I'm trying to figure out... Oh, man. Okay, well, we've officially run into our first crazy difficult issue. So congratulations, Hollow Souls. You predicted a very difficult design. Okay, how the heck do we do this now? Okay, um, okay, I'll think about that for now. Let's go on ahead and design the rest of the costume and do our very best there. Uh, and we'll go from there after, like, as far as, like, what we do. So I think that the actual design here should be just plain red. So there's really no concerns there. That's pretty easy. Same thing goes for the hips. I think the rest of this character model is actually going to be pretty f straightforward. It's just that, like always, there's always something very, very challenging about each one of these characters. And in this case, it's going to be the whole, you know, I've got giant wings and a tail, which we haven't had to deal with yet because we've not seen a character that had both. We've had characters that had the giant wings. We've had characters that had the tail, but we haven't had both. So congratulations. You've picked a very difficult design. Oh, man. Okay, so for the torso, that's another difficult aspect here, I guess, is trying to figure out what we do for this. So what we could do is we could go on ahead and actually color that green, change the torso to be something... Mm, trying to figure out what would be the best look here. I really wish they would have included more custom torsos. It would have been so cool. So it would be this, bright red, and then would make this black, like that. So I think that that actually does look pretty clean and overall works quite well. Although I do have another idea here and I want to take a look at... Um, do you remember the trench creature from the Aquaman DLC pack? Where is it? Uh, QRST. So it should be right past this. Where is it? Oh, there it is. No, that's the Swamp Monster. Hmm. I mean, I guess that one could look kind of cool too, though. I'm not going to lie. That actually looks pretty awesome. Where's the Trench Creature? Did I pass it and not even notice? Yeah, I did. There it is. Ah, never mind. Yeah, that won't work. Because it's got kind of like the bones look there, which is not really what we're looking for. This actually looks kind of cool too. I will say that the um, Swamp Monster, surprisingly, we stumbled across that design just kind of randomly. It actually does look kind of cool. I don't love the whole, like, flaming belt thing going on. Like, that doesn't work very well here, unfortunately. But it still does look sort of cool. I'm not going to lie. I'm just going to scroll through all of these just to be sure that there's nothing better uh, in terms of design that we could do. I guess you could kind of have the green logo across the chest this way as well. So it kind of works, which is sort of cool looking. Um, okay. And we're going to keep on keeping on here. Let's see. I'm just trying to see if there's anything that could possibly work better for the design that we're going for here. This in red. Nope. Doesn't look all that great. Ooh, what about the Martian Manhunter recolor? Hmm. That actually does look kind of cool, but again, it's not super accurate. Although we do get the chest logo, so I think that that's kind of neat. I'm just trying to figure out some way to give him like those fins that he has on the sides, like where his rib cage is for this character. So I'm trying to figure out some way of doing that while also having a lot of the other design aspects available. 
Of course, one of these would be really cool to recolor. Like if we could change that to green, it would have been a pretty good option. But unfortunately, or sorry, change that to green. It is green, you buffoon. Change that to red. Um, it would have been a pretty good option. But since we don't have that possibility, obviously we're kind of limited in that sense. Uh, that just looks kind of terrifying, not going to lie. Uh, let's keep scrolling here. Maybe we find some better. Oh, I wonder what this would look like. That actually does look cool, but it, it looks a little too uh, robotic, if that makes any sense. Like it, it makes it look more like a technological creature instead of a, a biological creature, which is what it's supposed to be. Uh, I think that looks sort of cool as well. But again, the blue color is really not what we're looking for here, unfortunately. Um, that looks pretty neat, but again, way more complicated than it needs to be. So I'm sort of stopping at like two options. The one, the first one is the one that I showed you before, where I think we do get a pretty decent amount of accuracy using the, uh, logos and everything that I showed. Wow. That actually looks pretty legit as well. Cause you sort of get the logo in the center of the chest and then the black lines and everything kind of looks cool. So I kind of like that design, but I would say that, honestly, oddly enough, one of the ones that I think looks the coolest um, for this particular character was the Swamp Monster. So I think that one looks really cool. I like the way that this looks. I think it's a pretty cool concept. But I will equally say that I think that us using, like, one of these torsos, like, let's say this one right here, and then hitting the recolor there, and then giving him, like, the actual decal... Um, or we could even do something like that, for example, you know? I feel like that looks a little bit more accurate, though, so we'll go with that. I think that's the one we're gonna go with. All right, let's figure out the face, and then we're gonna get to the most difficult part, which is deciding between the wings and the tail, or figuring out some way where we can include both, which is probably gonna be easier said than done. All right, so, uh, let's start with the hairstyles. Maybe there's something here that we can do. I don't know what this whole trend is of, uh, Ben 10 characters having giant eyebrows. Like, we saw that on, uh... What was the name of that character? Wrath? And now we sort of see it here as well. Um, I wonder what the recolor on this is. Hmm. That's actually kind of funny because it sort of works, honestly. You know? Because you get the green eyes. Um, it's just the hair. There's just a lot of hair, which is a little bit problematic. But if we recolor it, I guess maybe it kind of blends in a bit more. I don't know. Oddly enough, that's kind of a decent looking design, which I never thought I would say, but hey, it actually does look kind of decent. Um, okay, let's see. Let's keep scrolling. If we could have just the helmet, that would be great. Uh, that's not going to work. Neither will any of this other stuff. So I don't think we can use any of the hairstyles. Okay, let's move along to helmets. Let's see what we can do with the helmet side of things. So, let's begin scrolling through here. So, we could go maybe for this. Although, again, it's not very accurate. Just like a swamp creature of some sort, but it doesn't really fit the design we're going for. So, we're trying to figure out something that has those giant kind of... I, again, I think those are the eyebrows, but it's almost like a crown on the front of the character's face. So something like that is what we're going for. Wow. Yep, that's not going to work. That's too ginormous of a design. That's not going to work because it's just not going to work. Um, ooh. Now this has the green eyes that we need. So if let's say we made this, this yellow and this red... That actually would not be the worst idea. I know it's a lot more yellow and a lot more complex in the design than it needs to be, but it's not bad for sure because he does have a, um, like the mouth is supposed to be pretty big and yellow. So it kind of works with the fins and everything. So that's not a bad concept there. I actually sort of like the way that that looks. I think that could be our possible solution here for the one and only Stingray and plus, or sorry, Jet. Why do I keep saying Stingray? Jet Ray and Jet Ray does have at that point uh, would have the green eyes as well. So you know what? Let's go with it. I don't think we've used this mask before, so I feel like in that sense, it's also kind of cool that we're using something that we haven't before. So I kind of like the um, idea of just you know trying out something new uh, for one of these designs. Okay, so 
Now comes the difficult part. How the heck do we do the tail and the wings? Because they're both in the same category. So I'm thinking we should probably just choose the wings here because the wings are more important, I think, for this design than the tail would be. Now, the wings are supposed to be attached sort of to the arms. Man, I just don't understand why it doesn't let you do the tail and the cape. What if we did a shorter cape? Would it let us do that? Like, I'm actually just curious. What if we did, like, one of these shorter capes? Like, I think this is a short cape. No. What's a short cape? Is this a short cape? That's a short cape. So, if, let's say I did this cape. And we went with the yellow interior. Red exterior. Right? Because the wings, I think, are red on the outside. I think they're yellow on the inside. Um, so if we did that, and then please, please let us, man, why, why does it have to do the trade-off here? Why can't we have both aspects of the character available to us? It also stinks because we can't really get the perfect wings for this character either. Because like a wing set like this looks awesome and very cool, but the problem is because I can't recolor it, we can't get the right colors on it. Same thing goes for, like, this. This would be great if it worked. These wings, on the other hand, don't really work just because, well, they're big, giant feather wings, and this character does not have feather-type wings. It's more like these kinds of wings. <sighs> this is a bummer. This is just way, way, way more of a complicated process than I even thought it would be. Man, oh man. It's just trying to figure out how we could possibly... Maybe... What if we did, like, the completely, like, ridiculous cape? Like this one, right? Where it's just completely tiny. Will it let us attach the tail then? Nope. Of course not. Why? Why, game? I don't understand. They're not even bumping into one another. Why would it not let us do both of those? Like, if, if I pick this cape... I understand. Okay, they bump against each other. But this cape doesn't even touch the tail. Like, what is up with that? Why can't they go on ahead and get, let us, like, use that one? That's such a bummer, man. That would work. I mean, I would even be okay with, like, using one of these, like, just shoulder draping capes. Just something. You know? Man, oh man. What's the shortest cape? I think it's this one, right? I don't think this one is any shorter. No, it doesn't look like it. I think that's legitimately the shortest cape you can have. It's this one right here. So if I attach that and it didn't work, right? When we tried to put the tail on. Yeah, you see it just says it's going to remove the tail. Why? But why? Hold L3 for preview. Okay, so it does remove the tail. I mean the cape. Okay, well... I guess in that sense, we have to figure out which one we go with. Do we keep the tail or do we keep the wings? And unfortunately, you guys are not here to vote or decide on this. So this is one of those times where I wish I was live streaming this because it'd be a lot easier to decide. Man, oh man. I wish you could recolor these wings because then it would actually look cool. Like we could get a pretty accurate design for the character, but... It's not even going to let me do that. And these wings, I don't feel like are accurate at all. I feel like these are the ones we'd have to go with at that point. Man. This is so frustrating. I don't understand why it doesn't la uh, let you do um, both. Like, it just... I don't know. It just doesn't seem to make much sense. Could, will it let me do wings and cape? No. Of course it won't. I almost feel like, honestly, the cape is going to look better than the wings. I know people are going to get, like, possibly upset about that, but I genuinely think that, like, the cape will look better than the wings would. Because we could at least sort of almost use the cape as though it's also the tail on the lower half there. You know? I think that's what we're going to go with. There we go. <sighs> I'm so frustrated. I, I did not know that it would not let us have both of those parts uh, active on the character. So it stinks, but hey, it's one of the limitations we had to deal with. So it is what it is.
Uh, let's go on ahead and save. Obviously, we did put in a lot of work on this design. And I'm still happy with the way it looks. I just wish that, again, if we could have just included the tail and changed the color on the wings, um, like, for example, the man bat wings or the pride wings, like one of those uh, designs, I really do think we would have ended up with a pretty sweet looking design. Although, again, I do still think we have a pretty cool looking character model here. If you look at Jet Ray and you look at this character, you could definitely see some similarities, which I really like. And that's kind of what we go for. We try to do a design that's as close as possible um, within the limits of the game uh, that are placed upon us. Oh, no, I forgot. I shouldn't have switched into blocks because now we can't transform into any other character. Oh, no! Now we're stuck in this mode. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. That was Jet Ray. I hope you guys enjoyed today's showcase. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button. Let me know what you guys think of this design. I am definitely looking forward to hearing from you lovely, lovely folks about this particular look. Do you like it? Do you not like it? What do you think? Should we have adjusted certain things? Maybe we should have chosen different options. Maybe we should have gone with just the tail design or just the wings design. Let me know down in the comment section below what would you guys have done to build Jet Ray in your game. And in fact, if you do build your own design, please let me know uh, and tweet at me or uh, you can uh, tag it on Instagram. Of course, at Blitzwinger on both Instagram and the Twitter machine. Thanks all for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to leave suggestions for what we should build next. Have an absolutely fantastic day and I'll see you all later, alligators. Bye-bye, everyone.